Napalm was invented and named by Julius Pfizer, an organic chemist in 1942, and was a weaponized mixture and famously used in bombs during the Vietnam War and World War I. Napalm is made from a mixture of benzene, polystyrene, and when mixed with gasoline, the mixture becomes a far more viscous, flammable, and dangerous mixture. When ignited, burning napalm can reach temperatures over 2,760 degrees Celsius, or 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's compare this to a common match. The coating of a match's head is made from an oxidizing agent, such as potassium chlorate, mixed with sulfur and glass powder. Upon ignition, it can reach the average of around 230 degrees Celsius, or around 446 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, would napalm work well as a match? Before answering this question directly, I'd like to go over a little background first. Of course, a match being comprised of a wood insulating base with a head that reaches around 230 degrees Celsius won't be very harmful unless someone is within a closer proximity to the flame itself. But let's compare this to napalm with an average ignited temperature of around 2700 degrees Celsius. The results won't be nearly as harmless. For one, napalm is very sticky and will adhere to anything it makes contact with. So safety wise, this is far, far less safe than a match. Second, the wood base from a match wouldn't be much of a defense at all. Most woods combust at around 300 degrees Celsius, therefore it just be incinerated in a matter of seconds. But for a minute, let's pretend that the wood would hold up somehow. Would napalm make a good match? The simple answer is no, not at all. The adhesive properties of napalm are far too hazardous to ever be used as a common household thing such as a match. Napalm can't even be lit by normal methods such as just striking it with a normal match and in some cases, in like a version such as napalm B containing white phosphorus, it'll even burn underwater. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Smells like victory.